Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a geometry lesson to share with you today. We're working through our live education Waldorf curriculum and today's lesson is working on five division of a circle in order to create the perfect pentagon. For this lesson, we're going to be using our main lesson books that measure nine and a half inches by 12 and a half inches. So these are a little bit larger than what you would typically use for middle school. We get these from a child's dream and you can find the links to all of the resources on the blog post that accompanies this video. And you can find the link to that blog post down in the description box below. I'm going to set my compass to about three inches. Uh, but for this one, you could do it anywhere between two and a half and four inches. The exact size doesn't matter as much since we are going to be using our compass in order to do the five division of a circle. So we don't need to measure out the circle for the partitions. We're going to be figuring that out during this lesson. So we're going to start by doing our circle and you do want to mark the center. So as I'm lifting up the compass, I want to make sure that I do mark where that center is. Next, I'm positioning my straight edge right through the center of the circle and drawing a line from top to bottom. Next, I'm extending my compass so that it is much larger than the original radius. I'm going to set that compass at the bottom of my diameter and swing an arc to the right and left side. I'm going to reposition the point of my compass to the top of the diameter. And once again, I'm going to swing on the right and left side you can see where those arcs cross each other. I'm taking my ruler and once again, I'm going to align through the center and through both of those arcs on either side and draw a line right through the center. So we've now completed four division of a circle, but we actually wanna do five. So we wanna reposition our compass to the original radius. And I'm going to double check to make sure that it is accurate, but I do need to do a little bit of fine tuning to make sure that it is the original radius. We're going to place our compass at the top of the diameter and we're going to swing an arc from the center of the circle so that it bisects both sides of our circle. So that you can see we have two arcs that we're going to connect with our straight edge. So we're taking the ruler, placing it between those two arcs and drawing a line and that bisects our radius. I've labeled the top of the diameter A, the bisecting of the radius B, and then X and Y on either side. It's time to extend our compass from point B to point C. Once you have adjusted your new radius, we're going to put the point of our compass on point B, and we're going to swing an arc from one side to the other, connecting point C to the other side of the diameter, which will be labeled E. At this point, we have bisected the lower radius, and we're going to label this D. Now we want to set our compass from point C to point D, and that is actually going to be one-fifth of the circle. So I'm going to spend a little time making sure that it is accurate, and now we can do our five division of a circle. So we can place it at point A, and now we're going to swing an arc on either side. It might be easier to erase all of these extra arcs and lines first, but if you can keep track of where you are swinging your arc, then you will be accurate in where to place your compass, because now we want to place it on one of those arcs, swing it again, and then place it on the other arc and swing it once again and in this way we're going to get five division of a circle and you can swing your arc around the circle once again just to confirm that each of those arcs are indeed accurate so we can label each of those arcs and erase any of the extra marks that you have on your page and now we can use our straight edge to connect all of these points and in this way, you will see your five division of a circle and the pentagon that you can inscribe inside the circle. Of all of the divisions of a circle, this one does take a little bit of time to master, but it is really thrilling being able to construct a perfect pentagon within a circle with just your straight edge, a pencil, and a compass. I hope that you enjoyed this slow tutorial on five division of a circle. It goes along with our other geometry main lessons. Don't forget to check out all of those lessons on the blog post that accompanies this video where you can find more tutorials, pictures, and links to all of the resources that we use for our geometry main lesson block. 
You can find a link to that blog post down in the description box below. And if you'd like to see how we're homeschooling on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram and now on TikTok at Pepper and Pine.